Got my grandfather's set of Ben Hogan irons. Took them out the garage. Dusty, we got the original handles on them. We even got his name still on the clubs from Marinette, New York. Marinette, New York. Shout out Marinette fucking New York. I go over to the local course, I'm gonna play nine holes. I don't have the persimmon driver to go with this. So fuck a driver, we're just gonna go irons today. I got the two iron through the wedge. There is only one wedge. It's not a pitching wedge or a sand wedge. Uh, it's literally just called the equalizer. Okay, and I also got a putter that I'm gonna show you in a second, but uh, let's dust these babies off. Let's, let's clean the grips off a little bit and let's fucking go low. I mean, I'm a little lazy. You know, usually I get like the bucket with the soap and the water, but yeah, fuck it. 1965, I think these clubs are from. Oh, that whole movement, free the nipple. We need to free the irons, free, free the baby blades. Ben Hogan flex. <laughs> so, no idea. Look at how, look at my grandpa, just a fucking stick, bro. We're going all vintage clubs today. All right, this is a putter that I got out of my grandfather's collection. Didn't come with his other set. He got this putter out of Playboy Magazine. 1967, you could order items <laughs> out of Playboy Magazine. He ordered this, it's called a Porpoise, a Matsy Porpoise. Original shaft, I put on a new grip, but uh, I put a little lead tape here at the bottom, but this thing is uh, ridiculous. It's basically the size of a golf ball and it's made out of brass. So it feels like it rockets off the face. This is what we're rocking today, the porpoise, the Playboy putter. You know, I actually feel like this thing puts a great roll on the ball. Look how pure that is. Go in. I don't, you don't have to do much. The brass just kind of sends it. Face was open. Let's see if I can make a, a short one. Are you going to be talking the whole time? No. All right. So we got no driver in the bag, no woods in the bag, irons only. We're going to wiggle off the tee. Uh, kind of a narrow par four to start us off. This is basically what I'm gonna hit off every single tee. This thing is super tiny. Basically the ball just barely fits on there. I'm trying to crank this thing, like hopefully I can get it to go like 240, 250. It is so bad that it's fucking good. That's exactly what I did. So bad it's good. This whole, first hole is only like 304 yards. So I got away with this. 88 yards to the flag. That's an equalizer. Basically anything inside of 120 for me, auto equalizer today. <laughs> First shot equalizer we're on. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. I got a sickness and I need a cure. The West Coast cure, that's right. The vibes of this round directly brought to you by West Coast Cure. I got the Blackberry Kush Jeffrey pack. Paint those furry walls, baby. That's right, Jeffrey's infused J's. We got five of them, each one of them. 0.65, not just 0.5. Oh. Jeffrey Pack almost just got nuked by our playing partner's ball from a greenside bunker. But uh, when you when you have the Jeffrey, the vibes are high no matter what. I'm just gonna unroll it just a little bit so it's a little loose. Now I can go three putt. Hold the line, shit. That's not a bad first effort.
But now I have to hit a bunch of long irons back to back to back. You shanked it. I, sh I shanked it. Basically, a semi shank from just off the green. I had about 20 steps, and now I have 30 feet. Not stoked about this. Downhill putt, grass putter. I feel like this is going to be so fast. That's a par. Baby butter knife to wiggle. Let's do it. That's not good. Honestly, I'm gonna try to hit it hard and have it go into that bunker and hopefully I hit it hard enough that it skips out of it and goes on the green. I'm gonna hit a five. Triple bogey. That's a seven. So weak. Get no distance out of these clubs, dude. Shit is so thin. Best time for a Jeffrey. Post triple bogey. Triples hurt. That was a. Uh, yeah, too many strokes. Too many strokes over what I thought was gonna happen there. All good, all good. Let's go make some birdies. I actually do have a look at birdie here. Jeffrey has brought me back to life, sir. 47 yards to the flag. I got a lot of green to work with. I'm gonna open up the face on this equalizer and I'm gonna try to give it a healthy little schwack. That's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. Get in. Get in. It's hard to play. Oh, oh, oh. oh, from a shank to that. That's why you gotta stick with it. 15 feet up the hill. Hard. Get that. That much. Come on. So I only really know I'm actually on the golf course when I hear fuck in my back swing. <laughs> I was literally like a foot away from being absolutely perfect. Oh, there's no fucking sand in the bunker, dude. That's the best I can do.
dart. I said it's a dart. The Shot. leading edge is so fucking sharp that I'm literally like bringing turf with me. So when people say use the ground, I guess this is what they mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Birdie! <laughs> Let's go, dude. That was clean. I think it's a dart. I Wow. Couldn't have done any better. Okay. Yep. Okay. The equalizer didn't do me dirty on that one. One more hole. I need a birdie to finish strong. Let's fucking go. can't put a better move on it than that. I tried. I really tried, dude. I really tried. Okay. Story is here, if you have clubs from the 70s or Goodwill and you're serious about golf, go get yourself some real sticks. Uh, yeah. That made golf a lot fucking harder. It's already too hard.